Okay, hey everyone, and welcome to the RPG Maker VX Ace tutorials. And um, this tutorial, the first tutorial is really going to be covered on mapping because mapping is one of the biggest deals. Um, sorry about this whole Skype under there. <laughs> okay, mapping is one of the biggest problems that uh, beginners have. So, and I will be covering um, RGSS three as well. So, but in the first episode, we're gonna we're gonna be covering mapping. Okay, so um, let's get started. We're gonna be dealing with the field. So, but I'm gonna make it. Or, a little bit larger and um actually you know what no let's go to let's go ahead and let's start with uh exterior which is uh common maps you know not world map on just basic maps so the width um let's make it let's increase it by five so click it uh, or you click the arrows and click the up arrow one two three four five five times so this makes the map a little bit larger and you can see our little default water thing here is kind of messed up so just click the paint tool and you can actually uh, click all that right click an empty space or right click anything you want um, like say you have draw a little circle real quick say you have you have two different things here um, you, you if you right click either one of them it selects that so if you right click here you can draw that with that see um, anyways go ahead and erase all this I see how I, I right I right clicked uh, an empty space if you don't have an empty space, you can go down to here, and you can click it right here. Okay. Um, if there isn't an empty space, you can easily add it later on. I'll, I'll explain that. Well, okay, that's uh, kind of shadowy stuff. All right, so let's get started. First, let's uh, fill the area up with grass here. And now, uh, let's let's go ahead and design some water too. Yeah. Let's uh, just kind of place it randomly. Start drawing. Okay, now before we continue, we want to really kind of decorate as much as possible. As you can see, you got like kind of like a darkish grass kind of look. Um, okay, let's not even use that actually. But what we do want to do is see, I have like grass patch like this. You can use this grass patch, which is right underneath the dark shadowy weirdness. Okay. Make sure you don't have like one solid line like that because it kind of just looks, I don't know, messy. Yeah, I don't know. You can kind of smoothen things out like that if you need to. Um, okay, so kind of make other random dark patches. All right, now the path, like, well, you have a path here. And the world map, it's a little thing like the grass area. I'll explain it later. So the path, is like, as you can see, how auto, these are called auto tiles. But well, these top ones here, and even these, um, at least in RPG Maker XP, they were called auto tiles. What they do is like they actually place a series of tiles. So see, okay, if you draw like a square, or uh, if you draw like this little shape right here, it's actually placing different tiles here, 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 here. But um, it it works something like that. Um, not really important to know about unless you're designing auto tiles. Then again, once you open the image editor, you'll see how it works right away anyways. But uh, anyways, see, this right here is actually interesting. Uh, it's like a whole different thing. Never mind, I've already explained this. All right, <laughs> when drawing a path, um, depending on your, your game's character size, you might want to make it either two blocks long and two blocks wide or whatever, depending on what angle you're going up at, or... Simply, if you if that looks too messed up, you can simply do one. I like using one line for uh, VX and VX Ace, depending on the, the graphics. Okay, if you mess up on something, it's easy to fix. Just right-click the grass area behind you and or beside you, and then have at it. <coughs> uh, a neat thing to know: when you're drawing auto tiles, if you hold Shift, left Shift or right Shift, I think doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you hold shift, you can see how you just create, you create the center of that auto tile, basically. So see, if you had like a giant square like this, this is the size of the original auto tile. And then you have like a couple things over here. Anyways, you create the center if you hold shift and click. So doing that, if you right click the grass or whatever you have right there beside it, and then click beside it, you see how it straightens up that edge. So you can have like your own little... You can kind of you can kind of control what area you know, if if you need precise control. Uh, for example, a precise control would be if you have a hill here, you know, and you don't want the water to be like 
I'm just gonna design a little hill real quick. Okay, and you, you, this looks ugly, right? I mean, the water like goes around the hill. So you just hold shift, you draw around it like that, and you right click the areas beside it, and there you go. Now the water is going behind the hill. If you really want to make it look even more interesting, you can kind of make it a little bit longer to make it look a little bit more realistic. And now the water is going behind the hill. Now normally it would look like this, but uh, hold on, I'll show you. like that. But if you hold the shift method, or if you use, <laughs> yes, you hold the shift method. Anyways, uh, if you use the shift method, uh, that works out pretty darn well. So what we're gonna do now is actually block off this whole area right here. Um, kind of like a little, uh, like a little, hey, <laughs> you can't be here, kind of thing. Make the water go behind that. There we go. Okay, so now it's um, it's blocked off, and hold on. One second. There we go. So now uh, this isn't really. You know what? Hold on. Okay, this actually ain't a bad little plan here. Now, so we don't want that. No, we don't want that at all. Let's actually do that one. There we go. Uh, to do that, well, you seen how I did that. Um, basically, if you want, if you want it to look like that, hold Shift when doing that, and then click right there. You can click. Hold shift there too. You can kind of make it like that too if you need to. So here, hold shift, draw the water. Hold shift, click there, and bada bang. And there we go. So now we have, hold on. There we go. Wait, no. No, no. Uh, yeah, I guess we, no. Definitely not that. Alright, you know, I guess that's actually not bad right there. Okay, so, um, not really the best, but not bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. there we go. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, that don't look right. Eh, I guess we gotta deal with this one. Alright, so, um, the shadow tool. As you can see, you got weird shadows right here. But what if you don't, if you don't want your lighting there, you can easily click this little tool up here. <clears throat> it's called the shadow pen. And just click a shadow and draw. If you want to make a shadow, just click a non-shadowy area and you can draw. And just hold down the mouse button. You can. Yeah. So let's remove all these little shadows, shall we? Much better. All right. Um. However, we still have the shadow there, but that's actually done on the tile itself. So you can have to edit that if you want to get rid of that. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a little pathway to get over here. And then, yeah. But, of course, we don't want the water looking like that. See, this, again, oh yeah, that's right, these shadows, they kind of come back after a while. Um, and hold shift to draw with the grass, and there you go. So now you've made like a little hill thing to get over there, but, um, okay. Is, is that good enough? Yeah, the water's good. Okay. Um... Basically, what I did there was I held, I clicked the the grass and I held shift, and then otherwise it'll just create that. Yeah. Um, see if this is already here like that. You just hold shift and then then click with the grass and then yeah. Anyways, um, so now let's go ahead and make some stairs. You might want to hold shift for that as well. Hold shift there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess that looks all right. Um, make one more. Hold, hold shift. You know, right, uh, the auto tie right here, and then you just hold shift. Okay, uh, so that looks pretty good. Um, we should add a. I want to say we should add a whole another one of these, but you know what? You can actually kind of think if we can hold shift on that too. Kind of make it connect to the rock, and make this one go to the side too. Uh, okay, that's a problem. Oh well, I'll just do this. There we go. Problem solved. And do that. Okay, there we go. Huh. No? Okay. I guess we can't really make it connect to the rock. Actually, we can. Just hold ship like that. Hold ship there. There we go. Alright, problem solved. Now it's uh, connected to the rock, and then 
this kind of fades into the map and it looks a little more interesting, you know, like less, um, you know, as a matter of fact, hmm, you know what? Okay, right click this and then hold shift, draw like that, and then drag at the bottom. Now that looks even cleaner. Kind of. Okay, this needs to be a grass, so just hold shift and then make it a grass tile. Same with this one. No, okay, never mind, that's not going to work out too well. You know, that look actually looks interesting right there. I, I don't I don't mind that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, kind of. Uh, you know what, let's just go back to the original idea there. Because that didn't really turn out too well. Alright, so, um, completing the idea, we go to B now. So, in the in B area, you, you got all kinds of stuff. You got little grass, you got flowers, you got mushrooms, you got vegetation, you got trees, you got all kinds of stuff. Rocks. So, you know what, let's place a couple of rocks, like one here and one here. This type, one here and one here. Uh, maybe one up here. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's place some basic trees. One, and you don't gotta worry, it's not gonna erase anything. Uh, one, two, three. I'm also gonna show you guys some really neat tricks. Nine. Yeah, I just kinda place these everywhere. Except for up here, honestly. Yeah, we can have like one right here, I guess. Yeah, that's alright. Start placing them like all over the place. Now, um, you pl click the bottom one and you can just kinda make it look like it's going off the map. It's a really neat little trick I, I like to do. And the same thing with the top. You can kind of make it look like it's going on the bottom. Okay, um, second is the the larger trees. Oh, and if you want to make a twin tree like that, you can just by clicking this. Let me explain how that works uh, in case you're confused. If you want to make like a row of trees, you click those and you, you can finish it off like that. And now it looks like you have a row of trees. What? Control-Z is undo. Uh, click click Control-S to save. Now let's draw some grass real quick. Actually, no. Let's draw the larger objects first. These bigger trees. See so yeah, how you can kind of make it look like it's going off the map there too. I know we have like a lot of trees, but hey, you know what? The more detail, the better. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like on the on the edge, like I like it like that, like the edge right there. Yeah, this again, this is like if you want to make a bunch of trees, you can, and you just kind of finish it off with the edges of this one. Okay, um, now we can place other stuff like grass, all that cool stuff. Okay. There's a little grass patch up there, actually, too. It's kind of neat. Alright, now uh, these little grass things right here, I don't know what this is. It almost looks like crushed grass, but I don't know. Uh, lily pads. I know we have those, don't we? Here we go. We put a couple of lily pads in the in the water. Over here. These are leaves. You can kind of place leaves like near uh, in between a couple of trees. And because you know it makes sense. No. <laughs> Um, mushrooms? I don't really know yet. Maybe, but maybe not. Vines? Hmm, depending. Is that cool? Uh, that actually doesn't look bad right there. You can kind of design the bottoms of things, but... That actually don't look bad either right there. Kind of put these little things on the walls. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Um... Other than that last one there, it's just it pretty good, but eh, not really matching. Okay, so now we move quick, sitting in one position like that gets to you. Okay, so yeah, um, let's go and uh, build some more. Oh, a log, a couple of logs every now and then, every now and then. here and there. I mean, let's continue on. uh, a couple of them, and maybe. Um, eh, a chopped tree doesn't really make sense unless you're near an area that they actually chop trees. You can make a little fireplace. Alright, so anyway, um, a couple flowers here. Again, like, try to 
use up like as much space as possible. Um, don't really put much where the players where you think the player is going to be like walking because at the same time of um, as looking nice, you know, like looking like a nice map, it also basically it's like subconsciously like tells the player where to go. It's like there's a bunch of stuff here. There's not much stuff here. You know what? I think it. I feel more comfortable walking here than I do there. So they start walking over there, and then you're like, oh. Um, I kind of just contradicted myself there, but okay. All right. So what else can we add? Obviously, a palm tree wouldn't really match this area unless you're like in a desert or a beach or in the middle of the water. <laughs> okay. Now, um, techniques. Uh, normally you would use events for stuff like this, but I just kind of thought of something. If you wanted to make something like, okay, uh, a tree behind a tree, you can do so by clicking, okay, see how this has the top little area over here? Uh, if you make this right here has the same top area as this tree, so click it and bang. Now all you have to do is finish this tree. See, see what I'm saying here? So now you got a tree behind a tree, and it just makes it look so so neat, you know? Uh, the alternative method would have been to add an event, and I'll go over events later, but basically you would add an event, and then you would do tile set B, you'd find the tree, no rhyme intended, um, and then bang. <laughs> now let's move on to C. C is where you have more of your rocks. Uh, rooftops and stylish stuff like that for castles or castle towns or whatever you're trying to design, you know. So, let's see... Also, if you don't really like uh, your own map, you can always load from the custom ones. I forgot to mention that. They got a ton of preset ones. Um, or not custom, they preset. Whatever. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, for now, let's, that would, really wouldn't make much sense, that thing right there. It's just a broken thing of this. Uh, so are these, really. But these can be used as rocks. I like to use them as rocks sometimes. Although, actually, it's actually supposed to be a crushed version of this. So, um, you know what, let's actually not use those, because we're, we're pretty much stacked. Aren't we? Okay, say you want a rock that's in the water, but you want it to be animated. Alright, you can do that by going to the events and clicking the graphic here, and double-clicking the graphic. And, um, here, this empty space here, just double-click it. Double-click uh, in the events layer right here, you can double-click on the map, and then you can kind of, yeah. Okay, um, so it would be in other, two, no, three? Yeah, other three. You got three different types of rocks. It's snow rock, normal rock, and meadow rock, I guess. You can give it a stepping animation. Um, mm -hmm. Stepping animation, meaning it's constantly moving. Have one there, and one here for show, to make it, you know, to show you the other one. You can also have a post in the water. That's kind of cool. So, press, press Control S to save the game. Go um, save changes. Okay, and let's play. As you can see, um, our map is looking pretty darn nice. So you can't you can't get around it. So oh, I gotta fix. Oh wow, what? What? Oh, the grass. Um, yeah, that's a bug. I gotta figure. Well, just don't have the grass there. I mean, or you can just yeah yeah that's it. You just have to have like not have the grass there. Okay, so uh, and we also gotta fix a little. Bug in the water. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense right there. I like that. I like how that looks. All right, so we cannot have the grass there. Um, hmm. So let's actually put something else here that makes it look interesting. Ooh, you know what? Uh, put a couple bushes here too while we're at it. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's cool. Uh, you know what else? We we didn't kind of use a little more like that okay eh, I was throwing her hair actually there we go um what else can go on top of this so we can look more stylish though obviously something that's oh we can we've got to put uh, place a couple of these too I'm I'm forgetting the top of this area a lot I don't know why I'm doing it all right so you know, oh, here we go. No, those are also passable. Just make something, if you're going to have like a small thing like this, it's best just to not put anything on top of it at all, I guess. 
Alright, so this covers the first tutorial on mapping. Um, Alright, uh, the next tutorial, I don't know. <laughs> I have not planned it. Well, see you later, and I hope this helped you.